This is called the Back Rooms Realm of Shadows. Yes, it's another Back Rooms game. In case you're wondering about the Back Rooms, you're like, you're like, I downloaded this game, but I don't even know what the Back Rooms are. You can do your research right here on, on Back Rooms Wiki. So let's go, story mode. And there's difficulty settings? I'm just gonna go normal. Insane difficulty? You need to complete the main story first. Dude, how involved is this game? Oh, this looks nice. Very clean. Very clean atmosphere. Um, as you know, I'm just double checking. I gotta look for something real quick. Wait, why am I standing on the desk? Uh, there is no death cord three. Man, it's been a couple games since we've seen any death cord. All right, this does look nice though. It kind of reminds me of the facility from what the hell is that? Uh, from Sons of the Forest, like when you go underground. And I don't know what this is. That's the map of the back rooms. That's that's the brochure for the back rooms. Yeah, most back room games that I've played, there's like there's a few good ones, but a lot of bad ones. And it seems I don't know what they do, but it seems like they copy and paste a lot of like the good games and somehow make it worse. But this seems like a much more involved experience. Okay. <laughs> They're like, uh, so how are we going to like, how are we going to start this game? Like, how are we going to put the person in the back rooms? All right. I got an idea. They go down an elevator, enter the back rooms. If you're not careful and break out of reality in the wrong places, you end up, I didn't see the bottom part. I, I'm assuming it said in the back rooms. All right. It does look good. Looks, looks nice. Looks like a nice green uh, Berber carpet. Standard back rooms wallpaper, which you can pick up at any Home Depot. All right, not sure what that is. Now the question is, how long until Doodle Bob shows up? Because that's like every single back rooms game, except for maybe one. Oh, what's this? I heard like a growling sound. Maybe I should have went back to where I heard that noise. I mean, if we're going to die, we might as well just get it out of the way. Oh, we do have a flashlight. Okay. And I don't want to fall down there. That's a common theme in backroom games. You got to have the holes in the floor. The perfectly cut out square holes in the floor. Mm. I mean, who doesn't want to go down a slide? But I feel like if we go down there, we can't get back up. So before I dive down there... Let's, uh, all right, that was like a big circle. Let me go back here real quick. Actually, no, we came in over. Wait, can we take this? Yes. Oh, dude, it's a good thing I came over here. All right, so we have a ladder. Oh, fuck, man. All right, so yeah. <laughs> I, I, <laughs> run, run. I just, I, I like to admire the differences in the... I'm trying to get to the slide. The difference is in the uh, in the doodle bobs. Where was the fucking slide? <laughs> Shit. Okay. All right. Oh, oh, thank you. Thank you for spawning me next to the fucking slide I couldn't find. I was like, you know what? Let me uh, let me just let me take a closer look at doodle bob because we see doodle bobs all the time in these games. All right. But you know, once in a while they do a little bit more detail on him. All right, I have the ladder. I'm not going back there. We're going down the slide, which unfortunately is not a slide. It's just a walkway. Wouldn't it be more fun if we could actually slide down this thing? Should I go down there? I'm, I'm jumping down there. I don't know what's gonna happen. We died. Okay, so we died there. Nothing down there. I wonder if, uh, like, if Doodle Bob chases us down there, if he falls down the hole. And maybe that buys us some time. I gotta mind my stamina. Alright, over here was the ladder. Now, wait, wait, wait. 
Back at the entrance, when we first loaded in, there was that hole in the wall. Maybe we just need to go back to where we started. Something's chasing me. Fuck him. I think I'm dead. Fuck! It's a dead end. Damn it. God damn doodle bob. That's the one thing I... I, I like... I like the concept of the back rooms. But, you know, you already know that when you load in, you're going to be dealing with Doodle Bob. He's like the mascot of the back rooms. Damn it, Bobby. Ugh, shit. I'm trying to remember. We, we got to get the ladder. I, 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 okay, the ladder's over here. And Doodle Bob's over there. So if we go back this way, we should be able to go back to that hole. Oh, wait. Did they put the ladder there because we picked it up? Okay. Hey. Get the fuck away from me. I don't like the way it's breathing. All right, I'm going down. And I died. It doesn't feel scary. I think it's just because we play so many back room games that it's kind of taken the the fun out of the lore. Got ourselves a mouth breather. That's the way I went last time and died. Oh, there he is. Shit. I think the graphics look really good and the sound uh, and the actual monster design seems bad. Movement feels real. Yo, yeah, yeah. Uh, graphically, I think it is good. Solid. What the fuck was that? Wait, wait, wait. Maybe I should follow the arrows. I think that's a clue. Um. Oh, pick up. What? Do, I don't. I don't know what I picked up. I, I don't know what that. I didn't see what it was. It just said pick up. Is it a key? Shit. Well, now I got to figure out where that was. We picked up something. It was on top of a table. Oh, I think it's right here. Wasn't it? I don't know where that was. You know what? Oh, wait, here we go. I think it is a key. I'm going to say, oh, shit. This reminds me of the level where the lights would go out and the smiley faces would chase you. Someone from the team has locked the exit gate uh, to open it. You need to activate two valves. First valve is on the first floor and the other one is on the second floor. But beware, I have heard some noises from the second floor. Can you stop putting that on the fucking screen? Why is it so dark? Well, I got one valve. I picked up a valve, but did we actually activate it? You know what? I'm going to say we did just by clicking on it. <laughs> Wheel valve check. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. I think after. Um, Wait, could you imagine if this is the exit? Just we just leave exit. Nothing. Um. Oh, you know what? When we when we activate the valves, that's going to open. So we'll have to make our way back down. I will say after this um, after this back rooms game, I think I'm good. What the fuck is that? Well, there's something coming down here. Oh, God. Macaroni man. 
I think he's faster than us. Uh, he's about as fast as us. I just gotta mind my stamina. It's your friend, Billy. Oh, Billy. He's still chasing us, you son of a bitch. Dude, my flashlight is on and that's how dark it is. You fucking bitch! It wouldn't activate it. Stay away, boy. All right, here we go. I clicked activate, but nothing happened. I'm not even... Here we go. Uh, I'm going to say uh, I'm not even playing this like a horror game. Like it doesn't. <laughs> it, it definitely does not feel scary at all. Is it was it fall damage? He was right behind me, but I jumped down to try and avoid being attacked. <sighs> Shit, he's right there. It said two valves. I'm trying to mind my stamina. All right, come on. Seems more of an annoyance than a scary game. Uh, it seems like a lot of them are like that. Did we go in? No, what? Maybe there's three valves. Cause I thought the other one was like, oh yeah, yeah, there is. Shit. There we go, now it's open. All right, get me out of here. Like now I'm just playing it as like a challenge. Oh shit. I hope there's a pool room. Uh, that's the way we came in. Uh, what? Dude, so what are we, uh, what are we doing? Oh! Shit! You and me go fishing in the dark now, but I'm counting the stars just. Oh, shit! All right, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I think I got it. Getting annoyed? What are you, what are you talking about? This game is amazing. I, I see no, on a scale of one to 10, annoyance level, zero. Yeah, not annoying at all. Yeah, fuck you. Ha ha! I'm free, bitch. I'm not even looking back. He's probably right on our ass. What in the fuck you, man? Maybe we have unlimited stamina. Let me try saying that again. Maybe we have unlimited stamina. Dude, it came out like, maybe we have unlimited stamina. You guys ever think about that one? Maybe we have unlimited stamina. And it looks like we do. Yeah. Confirmed unlimited stamina. Except for right there at the very end, I ran out. Yo, I'm about to flip the fuck out, guys. You and me going fishing in the dark. I'm out of bear and count the stars. I don't know the words. Just moving slow. You love watching frustrating. Motherfuck, dude. Well, <laughs> well, I went down yonder on the Chattahoochee. Never knew how much the muddy water meant to me. But I learned how to live and I learned who I was. A lot about living and a little about love. A lot about living and a little about love. You, what the, what am I supposed to fucking do? At least it's not only up. At least it's not only up. At least it's not only up. We can do this. Stay focused. Stay calm. It's just another backrooms game. Okay. You've done this a thousand times before. Different game. 
same name, same strat. Never knew how much that muddy water meant to me. Well, I learned how to live and I learned who I was. A lot about living and a little about love. A lot about living and a little about love. <laughs> Sector six. Guys. Guys, don't, don't look now, but we made it to Sector 6. Hmm? Wait, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, 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 W? W. Okay. Q. Look around. Oh. Okay. 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 Oh. Letters? For some reason, we are locked in this room. The elevator doesn't work, and we haven't found any other way. The only thing we have in this room are three plates. One plate has a Q. The second plate has an E, and the third, N, W. I don't know what that means. The only thing we know is that we need the right order of these letters. Okay. But we don't really, uh, but we don't really want to go to the next room. We heard entities from there. Okay, hold on. So they said, uh, QEW. I didn't try that. Can I, can I have the game back, please? Hey. You fucking bitch. Can I, can we, can we do this? Escape to leave. Right? Escape to fucking leave. Can I can I please have my game back? I can't even click on it. Escape. You fucking dirty motherfuckers, man. I'm sorry we didn't have time to uh quality test our game before we uploaded it to Steam. <laughs> That's on you. Imagine making a game and not playing it before you uh before you sell it to others. Imagine Imagine that. Okay, so we just got to play like this the whole time. Oh, this is fucking great, man. Fucking love this. All right, so W, Q, and E. They said Q, E, and then W in the letter. Did that open something? It didn't, it didn't beep at us. Wait, this opened up. No, it didn't. I can't see shit. This definitely looks like something's opened over here. Oh, there we go. Yeah, this. You know, well, who who really fucking knows? You know what I mean? Like, who who really knows what the fuck's going on? Because we don't. We have no fucking idea what's going on. Because I can't see the goddamn fucking screen. Oh, this is what I get. This is what I get for singing Alan Jackson. Do I deserve this though? I don't think so. I don't think anybody does. I do know one thing. It's definitely not time for a good time. I old F Ford. We're not picking up that note. Okay, so they said in the letter it was Q. You know what's funny? Like they said the order of the letters in the note. They're like, we couldn't get out of here. All we knew was that there's is that there was three plates in the ground. The first one was Q, second one is E, and the last one is W. But we just couldn't figure out the combination. It's so scary. It's so goddamn scary, bitch. Wait, 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 hold on, hold on. 
It's weird seeing this because we couldn't... We couldn't see it before. All right, so now we're in here. See guys, it's not that bad. This game is not that bad. Sadly, it's probably one of the better backroom games that we've played. Oh, wait, maybe we have to jump. Oh God. I hope we had to jump because now I'm stuck down here. Can't see shit. I bet we're supposed to jump, but not down here. All right, respawn. I still don't know what this is. What is this? Whatever it is, we just picked it up. All right, so now we need to fall down, but not all the way down. So maybe we go over here. That goes all the way down. Well, wish me luck. You fucking bitch. We fell all the way down. Actually. Oh, okay. Now we're in like a sewer system, which I still feel like we're not supposed to be down here. We, you're not supposed to see the back rooms of the back rooms. God damn it, Swole. Yeah, how do we always end up in things like this? Like, dude, I'm outside the map, basically. You're not supposed to see that. Yeah, flashlights do suck in games like this. I hope there's no jump scares coming up because that would really freak me out. Fucking bitch! I don't know what I'm supposed to fucking do. I hope there's no jump. No, it's, it was a joke. We, 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 I've now done that part like five times. Guys, these games really freak me out. Like I can't handle horror games. I really hope, like as long as there's not a, as long as there's not a jump scare, I should be okay. <laughs> May you suggest a certain strategy? I just need to get down. We just, we need to get down there. It's getting dark, too dark to see. And I still don't know what we picked up. I picked up something. I don't know what it was. Feels like I'm knocking on heaven's down. Hey, hey. Oh wait, there's a ladder right there. Oh, I fucking fell again. Oh, that ladder don't mean shit. Maybe. This is the, the developers making this game, ready? Here's my impression of the developers of this game. Maybe if we just make one level intentionally impossible. They will be stuck on it for so long that they will no longer be within the two hour window to get their refund when they realize just how bad this fucking game is. Can we make a level like that? Have you ever been like just so disgusted by a game it makes you sick to your stomach? I don't, maybe it's the noise. Maybe it's that like that constant humming noise. No, these graphics make me motion sickness. Maybe that's what it is. I'm like, I feel like I'm gonna throw up. I had some fish earlier. Hopefully that's not what it is. This game is just fucking trash. The devs are like, the game just came out today. They're probably like, hey, let's go on Twitch and see how many people are enjoying our game. Hey, here's a guy. Boop. This game is fucking trash. Boop. Like, here's what I don't get. Like, all right, so we came down here. But yeah, maybe we have to go up. Oh God. Uh, ah. Yeah, if I look like that, would you guys still watch the stream? Thanks for watching. Thanks for that sub. Thanks for the follow. Just want to give a quick shout out to Johnny Turbo. Hey. Hey, Johnny. Just want to say thanks to Johnny Turbo. This was constipated face. You look like a Jersey Shore extra. And I won't explain that. <laughs> what? Just want to say, just want to say hi to Johnny Turbo. Johnny, thanks for being here, dude. It's been through a lot. You know, we had a lot of ups and downs here on the channel, man. You've always been here. 
just want to say thanks. And Johnny's like, why, why me? I don't know. I just, <laughs> why, why are you fucking bringing me into this? Just want to say thanks, Johnny. You sound like Carl from Jimmy Neutron. I've never seen that show. What is the fucking solution to this goddamn map? Backtrack? You sure you're supposed to be in the silo? All right. I just want to apologize for wasting our time. We were in that silo for quite a while. So I just want to say thank you for all the people that are still here. It's understandable if anybody left in the time that we were in that silo. It was, it was quite a while. I wouldn't be surprised if it, God damn it, it's another note. Diary entry 18261, which is probably probably a code for a for a puzzle <laughs> a new day down here still no one heard us i wonder if we will ever get back out of here uh there is a door somewhere with probably an exit just bad luck that this door is closed hmm maybe we should try to repair the elevator okay hear me out the elevator is crashed and is not working don't use it the only way out of here is by going through the... Don't use it. The only way out of here is going th through the locked door. You can unlock the door by entering the password in the terminal that is somewhere hidden down here. Find the password. Enter it in the terminal and unlock the door. This is your way to the exit. Good luck. Hmm. I, the password couldn't possibly be uh, 18261. No way would they make it that easy. Oh shit, there's another one. Uh, I don't know how your progress is, but I found some clues for the password. The first number is a nine. Oh shit. Okay, so apparently that's not the password. Uh, first number is nine. The middle, uh, in the middle there is a five and six reverse what the fuck does that mean and in the end it looks like an eight but it could also be a two <laughs> don't know who wrote that that guy should be fired well good luck which is funny because it was a you know one of the devs wrote that guys i just want to i just want to apologize real quick for getting a little ahead of myself on that password. I thought for sure it was gonna be the journal entry number. And I stand corrected. Turns out I'm not as good at these horror games as I thought I was. There is a five and six reverse. If it's supposed to be reverse, why not just write six five? Why write five and six reverse? How long is this password? Oh, motherfucker. The first number is a nine. In the middle, there is a five. Starts with a nine, right? And they said there's a five in the middle. What if, what if it's like this? Five. And then, I, I don't know how long the fucking password is. Oh, and then the end is a, is a two. Nine, six, five, two. Did that work? It did. Yeah, it did work. That is kind of bullshit though. That, like, you don't even really know how many, uh, how many numbers it is. Apparently I was overthinking it. Hey guys, uh... <laughs> is there an option to make this game any darker? This shit's like, it's almost like, like escape the back rooms. Like there's so many similarities in the levels. Like, it's almost like they were waiting for Escape the Back Rooms to have an update so they could steal the shit and make their own game. Are you fucking serious? The same jump scare? Dude, I'm almost positive they took this right out of Escape the Back Rooms. Directly lifted it from that game. Who has a flashlight that's worse than a, than a match? This was the level in Escape the Back Rooms where he had to hide from the uh, security cams. The, dude, I cannot believe the fucking flashlight is on right now, by the way. 
Hey, Swole, use your flashlight. Dude, I fucking am. Hey, what's this? Can we go in this room? What was that? Something just opened. I heard keys jingle. Was it this? What? Are we supposed to be in here now? That's why we came in. I don't know what that was. Like, I definitely heard something open. Wait, wait, this is open. Yeah, no, we couldn't go in here before. Okay. Uh, Is that necessary? I picked up a key. Apparently I'm an idiot. You are an idiot. You are an idiot. There is something growling. Something's growling. We're probably gonna die. Oh shit. Yeah, there's something standing in that room right there. I picked up this key. Dude, could you imagine like making this game? C can you imagine making this game? And being happy with your product? You are an idiot for buying our stupid game. You are an idiot for logging into Steam and downloading this and paying with your real money. Like you would think, all right, yeah, we got a key. Let's get out of here. But what's the key for? Oh, you don't know? <laughs> you don't know what the key is for? <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Yeah, guys, hey, get a load of Swole. He doesn't know what the key's for. You know what that means? It means he's an idiot. <laughs> uh, this might sound dumb, but maybe you have to look at the door handle specifically. Like, maybe that's... Oh, uh, uh, well, I would be with you on that. But... <gasps> Ooh, okay. So, the key to... The key... <laughs> The key doesn't go in our inventory, so when we pick up the key, uh, it automatically opened the door. Just like before, when we grabbed the ladder, it automatically put the ladder where it needed to be. So, yeah, it's not a matter of, like, turning door handles and, and all that. So, I'm looking at the door that unlocked. It's right in front of us. Yeah, it keeps going. Yeah. I have a mute button, so I can, I can turn it off while I talk to you guys. What I have for dinner tonight, I had a... You ready for this? It's a long list. I had one protein shake. That was my dinner. <laughs> Yo, seriously? Th they this this is the mosquito level from Escape the Back Rooms. This is the mosquito level where, where we had to spray the bugs and get the jelly. They just completely ripped off Escape the Back Rooms. Yo, can I grab that key real quick? You played a Rec Rooms, Back Rooms game that was better than this? I'm not surprised. Not surprised at all.
<laughs> Hi, Bill. Is that you guys named him Bill the macaroni monster? There's a guy over there dancing. Yeah, I saw him. Beep, 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 beep. Better than you are an idiot. It it really is. Yeah, that's uh, that's Bill. Okay, that's cool. Okay, so we repaired the generators, guys. I guess we can use the elevator now. I'm not going to look. Uh, here he comes. That's not the solution. What was the point of repairing the generator? What did that do? Dude, can I get like a normal back rooms level? Like, where's the pool? Where is the, uh... You know, the outside area with like all the little matching houses. Where are the slides at? What, what is all this garbage? Like, what's up with the missile silo? What's up with the hotel? Yeah, I'm trying not to clip through the shit. This is the worst back rooms game I've played. They just keep getting worse every time. Hey, Bill, <laughs> what are you doing, man? You good? Wait. No, that's Mac. That's Bill. Bill's the taller one. I don't know who that little guy is. Doop, 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 doop. We're probably gonna die. Oh shit. Oh shit. Go. Stocks, dude. Thank you. Oh, uh, for your beard cream. I actually, I was starting to grow my mustache out. And I'm like, it'd be cool if I could grow it out and do like a, like a handlebar mustache. And like the longer it grew, I don't know. Like the mustache makes me look a lot older. It adds... I feel like it adds like 10 years to my face. I don't mind the beard, but when it's just a mustache. Where's this fucking guy going? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Wait. Oh, fuck! Damn it! Why was he downstairs? Dude, I'm gonna eject this game from my PC and snap the disc in half. Okay, I was gonna say, wait. Let's go to, like, now that we did all three generators, puzzles come in threes. So, the elevator should be active now. Then I tried to use the stairs and Bill was on the stairs. Is he still there? No. What the fuck, man? It's not even the solution. How is that not the solution? Is the gate? Oh, the gate. Here we go. Gate is open. Water level. Okay, this looks like a normal back rooms game. I forget what software I used to burn CDs, but yeah, that was, uh, I'm trying to think of what year I, I had a CD or uh, like a head unit in my car and it was an MP3 player. So you could burn a disc, but instead of like being limited to like, you know, 20 songs on a CD, you could burn like a 200 song MP3 disc. That was groundbreaking back then. Guys, imagine, imagine having two hundred songs at your disposal you're used to getting stuck with like 20 songs on a cd but could you guys imagine having 200 songs to pick from I don't, we don't even have that technology today 200 songs that technology is gone yeah they say that the technology to have 200 songs to listen to at any given time was uh was destroyed with the same technology that they use to get to the moon. So I, I don't think we'll ever have a time where we can just pull up 200 songs. It, real talk though, isn't that crazy that uh, you have like an infinite amount of music now. Like if you have Spotify or Apple Music, an infinite amount of fucking music to listen to. And apparently we can breathe underwater in this game. I used to have an iPod Nano and I fucking loved it. 
I think it got wet. I think ultimately its demise came from getting home from the gym, you know, having it in my pocket, doing laundry, forgetting to take it out of my pocket, washing it in my gym shorts. The iPod Touch. Uh, yeah, the iPod Touch. That was definitely after like the original iPod. Dude, I remember when iPods didn't even have a touch screen. Like the original iPod had a, um, just had like a little, uh, like circle on it that it would detect your finger. And that's how you would like scroll through, but you couldn't touch the screen or anything. And that was before the iPod video. The iPod video didn't even come out until, um, it was like 2006, something like that. The original iPod was hell of expensive too, wasn't it? I don't remember. I didn't own one. I got the Nano for like Christmas or something. You're better than any history teacher. No one had a Zoom except for Pam Beasley because uh, she she got the iPod from the Yankee Swap, but she um, she exchanged it for the tea for the teapot because Roy was gonna get her a, an MP3 player anyway, so she didn't really need the iPod. And she knew how important the the teapot was to Jim. So she ended up just getting a Zune. Keep going, almost finished. How do you know? First of all, why the hell am I in here? Almond, did you are, are you one of the devs? Or have you have you played this game? How do you know we're almost done? Just keep going. He's starting to believe. Ooh, what's in here? Dude, I would love to have a place like this. Wait, this is where we, uh, this is where we started. Let me go back. Oh, you're almost finished? Okay. Can you play From the Darkness? I would like to, I don't like to replay horror games. Because, uh, you know, it's not exciting when you already know what happened. It's not as scary. Uh, puzzles, you already solved the puzzles. The hell's this? Oh! <laughs> Dude! Isn't that crazy that... It's crazy that, um... Remember I said, like, what's up with these levels? Like, where's the water level? Where's the level that's outside with all the houses that look the same? And that's what we just had back to back. The water level and the level with the houses that all look the same. Yeah, don't mind the, the dancing power lines. Yeah, I don't think power lines do that. Amish, I was telling the soldiers. Oh, shit. Siren heads here? Something about, I don't think I heard it directly from you. I think I heard from somebody else something about you donating to charity if me and basic. Yeah, yeah, something like if we if we beat it, then you were going to donate to a charity. I, I heard it like third hand from somebody else. Like a second hand. Look. Look. I'm not I'm not saying this game is bad because if I try to make a game, I couldn't do it. This is better than anything I can come up with. But if we compare it to like other games and not the ones that I could hypothetically make or not make, it's pretty bad. That's pretty bad. You're the only streamer that both my wife and my four-year-old daughter love to watch for better or worse. Glad to see me live again. What the hell is that? You got dancing Susie over here. Are they violent or are they just... I can't tell. I, I think they're... I think they're very docile TV heads. And what was up with that last level? We We won. I, I don't even know what we did. I just kept walking and then I saw the one house had like a weird glow to it. I walked over there and we were done.
What I was going to say, though, is um, I don't like to replay horror games that I already beat. But I was thinking about... I can't run. It won't let me run. <laughs> um, I was thinking about going back and playing Visage and From the Darkness because they're two of my favorite games. And unfortunately, I, uh, I wasn't uploading to YouTube when I played those. So I never saved the VODs because I had no reason to. And um, I would like to get a VOD of me playing those. It, the only thing that sucks is, and I would throw it out as a, as a disclaimer, that uh, this isn't my first playthrough. But I still feel like they would they would freak me out. All right, we're not going that way. Uh, especially From the Darkness had an amazing, amazing tone. Probably the scariest game I've ever played. So I wouldn't mind replaying that. And then Visage, um, Visage is always good. It's always good. All right, this is where we saw the Naruto run. There he is, he's up there. I think he sees us. Yeah, I did all three chapters. I did Dolores, I did uh, Rakan, and Lucy. And then there is a fourth chapter that involves the tapes. I didn't do that. We didn't get to the fourth one. But yeah, to me, like Dolores by itself is uh like to me that's that's visage. And then Lucy's good. It's scary. Rackin's okay. Rackin's the one that takes place at the hospital, but I don't think anything's as good as the Dolores chapter. Because when the game was in beta, like that was all that was available was Dolores. And then they added the other shit on top of that. But Dolores by itself is a solid horror game. Like, if that's all Visage was, then uh, I would be cool with that. This isn't the scariest game. <laughs> wait. Wait. Thwole. You mean to tell me that this isn't the scariest game you've ever played? What are you, a psycho? How can this not be the scariest game that you've ever played? I do have an Instagram. Yeah, it's swole underscore TV. There might be a command in the chat for it. I'm not sure. I'm very unprofessional when it comes to streaming. I'm not like my dude Amish Ace, man. That guy's a fucking pro. I see guys like that. I'm like, man, I need to step it up. It's like when I used to watch the Foozles. Like, you got me, Mr. Bare Bones here. Pretty much what I, what I rely on is mainly gameplay and my commentary. And I just expect myself to be carried with that. <laughs> Like, I just, I expect, uh, you know, or, oh, what the fuck, man? What the, like, what the, what, how? I don't mind, like, beating the levels because that's the goal, but how the fuck did we do it? You just run around annoyed for, like, 20 minutes, and then you just pass the level? Congratulations, you won. How did I win? Well, we figured as the developers that you couldn't possibly get any more annoyed than you already are. So we took it upon ourselves to just end it right there. But what I was going to say is like, I just rely solely on my amazing gameplay skills and, you know, my chats with you guys. And then we go to like the Foozles and man, dude, they like, they had the green screen, like trucking simulator that they would ride in for their just chatting. They had all the cool transitions. They would, they had awesome channel points that you would, you could cash in and Buck would play the fiddle. They'd play songs. I'm like, maybe we, sh maybe we shouldn't have raided the Foozles because I look really fucking bad right now. I look really, really bad. Hey, can I, can I take this raid back? Because my subscribers, my followers, my viewers, they're going to be expecting a lot more out of me after seeing this. Can you guys stop playing? Can you, can you stop playing these songs? Oh, what, what's that, Buck? Oh, you're gonna make a you're gonna make a song up on the fly about me and my community? Oh, that's that's great, that's fantastic, dude. Maybe we have to go down. 
No, dude, I love the Foozles. Probably the most underrated streamers that I've ever met. And it was sad to see them, uh, you know, call it quits. Man, they, they should have had like thousands of viewers, man. Wait, this is different. It kind of steps up and then back down. This is different. Does that mean we can jump off here? Why is it that? Why is it that when I pause the game here, the music stops? But when I paused the game before, it kept telling me I was an idiot. Even even with the game paused. Why? Vengeance is an idiot's game. Either you got a lazy eye or a lack of respect. Which is it, boy? You best stick to them books, cause mark my words on this. Vengeance is an idiot's game. Ah, Mrs. Downs. What does he say? He says something's next to godliness, ain't it? And she's like, no, that's... I forget what she says. <laughs> I'll keep her in black on your behalf. You best think on that, boy. He's like, oh, punctuality's next to godliness, ain't it? She's like, no, that's cleanliness. Error level not found. This reminds me of Roger Rabbit. Anybody, anybody else getting Roger Rabbit vibes here? From this car? Is this a run? Wait, wait, do we get, maybe we have to get in the car. All right, I'm in the car. Kind of. Hey, what? We can just walk through the car? Come on. Oh, you know what? We can't go in the into the darkness. So we have to wait for the car to drive. Here, here it comes. And we gotta stay. Oh my god. You merely adopted the dark. I was born into it. Molded by it. I didn't see the light until I was already a man. And by then, it was nothing to me but blinding. My ride is leaving. I need to go. <laughs> <laughs> My Uber drove away. So they randomly dropped puzzles and it's now just level jumping. Yeah, it's like no rhyme or reason. You and me going fishing in the dark down on our backs. Count the stars just moving slow. Who's my favorite actor? I'd have to think about that. I don't really have like a favorite. I mean, Daniel Day-Lewis is amazing. Leonardo DiCaprio is good. Dude, Keanu Reeves. Tobey Maguire. Yeah, but I mean like Spider-Man. I know, I know he was in other stuff like Great Gatsby, which I never actually seen that. Uh, oh, he's in that movie. Was it Brothers? The one with Jake Gyllenhaal where um, Tobey Maguire goes to like, I think he like disappeared in war and they thought he was dead. So like the brother moves in and the wife falls in love with the brother, but then Tobey Maguire comes back, dude. I may have to watch that again. I saw it years ago, but then I saw a clip from the scene where he where he loses his shit, rightly so. He's like, do you know what I had to fucking do to get back to you? What, no Channing Tatum? Dude, what, what were the dance movies called? No, not, <laughs> not Magic Mike. The other one, like the one of the first movies that he was in. What the hell was that called? Step Up, thank you. Yeah, I really, 
Man, guys, I love that one Channing Tatum movie. You know, the one where he dances. This just in, Swole is a huge fan of Magic Mike. I never fucking said that. Have you played the Outlast games? Yes. Would I recommend them? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not a fan of games where you have to hide for extended periods of time, but with Outlast, they're so well done that it's not that bad. I mean, if you watch me play them, I complain about it the whole time, but I still enjoy it. Uh, I think Outlast 2 is my favorite. Outlast 2, because you're out in the middle of nowhere. You're like on a, you're like in the woods, like up on a mountain because you had a helicopter crash. I like that setting more than the, <clears throat> like the, um, the asylum, like the hospital of the first one. What's your favorite itch.io game? I mean, I guess I would, uh, I don't know. It's from the darkness. I think that's on Steam now. I don't know. I'd have to think about that. Favorite itch.io game. We played a lot of good ones and played even more bad ones. So I'd have to really think about it. This be a long ass tunnel, Dutch. <laughs> what? Ah, oh, shit. Ooh, nice. Birthday party level. Dude, they're just ripping off all the backroom games. This is straight out of Escape the Backrooms. These levels always remind me of like birthday parties at the roller skating rinks as a kid. I say rinks because we did have, we had like three roller skating rinks in our area. They were kind of spread out. Like they weren't like next to each other, but dude, this is straight out of escape the back rooms. Get this little motherfucker away from me. Looks like a little Lego man. Leave me alone, bitch. Oh, shit. Do, 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 do. Whoa, shit. So you can't kill us? I did it. I did it. I did it. I'm in the back rooms of the back rooms. I'm out. I knew we were going to do that eventually. This game is so loose. This game is so loose. I knew we were going to fall through the map or get outside the map eventually. <laughs> we're in the backest of rooms. All right, Marsh, you wanted Minecraft. Well, here you go. Wait, can we beat the level without being in the level? You know, it's interesting. Like this is on the back side too. I keep thinking that's like, like watch, watch when I do this. Watch this. Doesn't that look like Homer Simpson if I'm quick? Kind of like a, kind of looks like Homer Simpson a little bit. Dude, ever since that one game with the Ronald McDonald magnet on the fridge, can't stop thinking about McDonald's. Dude, I could, I could crush like four Big Macs right now. I gotta stop eating like shit. Woo! Goodbye, cruel world. Goodbye. <laughs> they, yeah, they didn't program the death switch because you shouldn't be able to fall in that level. All right, so respawn. Dude, watch it. Watch it respawn us outside. Okay, good, good, good. Just watch out for the little kid. There he is. Stop going that way. Well, the level's not that big. Here we go, exit. Fuck, get away from me. Shit. There we go. Okay. So I heard keys that time. Again, no idea what triggers it. This game is like the loosest back rooms game I've ever played. All right. 
Is this open now? No. Yes. Fuck. All right, well, this is anything like escape the back rooms and we gotta keep running and then shit starts falling. It's probably the same fucking pattern. I'm not even fucking scared anymore. Yeah, you got yourself, got yourself a real loose back room, okay? You got a real, you got a real loose back room. You wanna, you wanna get that tightened up, okay? How do I like the game so far? I don't know, I mean, maybe hang out for like 30 seconds and you'll hear me bitch about it. Am I cutting up? Uh, Yeah, I'm trying to lose weight. I'm not, I don't really have like a number in mind. I don't have like a, like a set number on the scale that I'm looking for. I don't really have bulking or cutting phases. I just have eating like shit phases. And then dude, you gotta, you gotta lose some weight phases. Cut out the booze and cookies. Well, yeah, I actually quit drinking over a decade ago. Oh, got a key. So that helps. Find a cute object and make Kitty happy again. Dude, if that's not enough to make you want to just fucking rage quit, I don't know what is. Look at this Slender Man knockoff. What's weird is we got a key. But the thing is, like, when they give you a key, um, you don't, like, use it to unlock something. Like, the, the door will open automatically of whatever it goes to. And I don't know what Slender Man's doing. Oh, we got to find something cute for the doll. Or for Kitty. Find something cute for Kitty. There you go. Here, here's something. Kitty, I have something for you. What is going on, man? Why am I still playing this? When you're a kid, you wish you were an adult. When you're an adult, oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're you're always trying to grow up so fast when you're younger. And then when you get older, you're doing everything you can to slow it down. I started using moisturizer on my face before I go to bed at night. Like, what's up with that? One thing I wish I would have done, and let me let me tell you. Advice I wish I would have taken when I was younger, use sunscreen and don't use tanning beds. Don't fucking use tanning beds and use sunscreen. Use tons of sunscreen at least on your fucking face. I feel like I could have preserved at least five to 10 years if I would have used sun uh, suntan lotion on a regular basis. There were so many times where I just, I don't need that shit. And that'd burn like crazy. If you, if you are in your 20s and you don't use sunscreen on a regular basis, start. Yeah, also stay in school, don't do drugs, and take your multivitamins. Take your Flintstone vitamins. Okay, so we can't fall. Don't fall through the floor. Dude, did they just like give up on this game? Somehow I fell through the f All right, there it is. All right. Swole didn't take the sunscreen songs. I don't know if I ever heard that. That's the problem. The problem is that I never heard the sunscreen song. I was left out. My math test. Today I got my math test and well, what should I say? It wasn't a very good result, but maybe you can solve this question. What is the result of 102 plus 102 times two? Order of operations, 102 times two, that's 204, plus 102, that's 306. Only good persons can get the results. Good luck. The fuck is the point of that? I, I get that the back rooms is supposed to be like all mysterious and confusing and not make sense. 
This game seems like it doesn't make sense because it's a bad game. Not because, not because of creative choices. It's just, it's confusing because it's just not consistent. The wrong answer. Yeah. So, uh. Oh, well, he fucking died. They should have used parentheses then. <laughs> Imagine making a game with a math problem that the answer is wrong. What the fuck is that? A friend told told you to watch me. Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry about that. Is there a key? I can't remember. Was there something else that we needed? Oh, I think I just there, there was a key right here on the corner. But because the game sucks, it doesn't make any kind of noise or anything to let you know that you actually picked it up. All right, so we have a key. Can I just jump this? Do I have to go down? All right, should be good now. Yeah, like real talk. Yeah, fuck you. Okay, so we're back in the back rooms. We're back in the back in the back rooms where it all began. With Doodle Bob probably waiting for us. Ooh. I didn't even dude. I didn't click anything. I just walked into it. Sometimes Sometimes in this game you got to press E to interact. Other times you just walk into shit and it just you pick it up. That's where we got it. If I go this way, it gets super dark. Oh, no, no, I think we're good. Okay. Now the question is, where do we put this? Here's a door. Is this where we came in? No. All right, at least this feels... Of, of all the things we've done, this actually feels like a horror game. Doodle Bob is over there. I, I can hear him. Surprised the game is still going? Yeah, you and me both. We got to find where to put this... Uh, this wheel valve that we just picked up. Was that just over here? What? I got another one. Unless... I, I bet you were not picking those up. I bet you were turning them, but because, you know, budget... Fuck! Fuck, fuck, fuck! We're dead. I think. Oh, uh, either way, because of the super high budget of the game. Oh, here we go. And three. What? Dude, Doodle Bob wasn't even behind us. It puts the lotion on the skin. Oh, wait. Dude, I can't. 
<laughs> I can only do one Buffalo Bill impression. One Buffalo Bill impression. And that's whenever... Um, uh, oh, shit. What's the... Uh, What's the actress's name or the character's name? Jodie Foster? Is that her name? Clarice. Jodie Foster. <clears throat> she goes to talk to Buffalo Bill at the very end of the movie. Like when she pretty much figures out that it's him. I think it's right before she figures out that it's him. And she's talking about his last victim. And he mentions her name or whatever. And, and he goes, oh, wait. Was she a great big fat person? And what's interesting about that... <laughs> is uh, I, I saw in an interview, and I know I've said this before, but I saw in an interview, Seth Green was talking about his inspiration for Chris Griffin's voice on Family Guy. Wait, is Doodle Bob chasing us? No. There's two. Come on! I'm gonna try and juke him out. God damn it. Seth Green says that his inspiration for Chris Griffin's voice was was Buffalo Bill from Silence of the Lambs. I'm like, how is that Chris Griffin? Like, how do you get Chris Griffin out of that? So then I was like, I was like, oh wait, was she a great big fat person? And then I, then I brought it up just a little bit. Just a little bit. Oh wait, was she a great big fat person? Was she a great big fat person? <laughs> and I'm like, dude, that's Chris Griffin. That's all it is. It's Buffalo Bill, but with a little, a little higher. A little higher on the voice. Why well, is she a great big fan person? Dude, as soon as Doodle Bob sees you, like you're screwed. It doesn't matter where you go, the game just brings them to you. It's not, you can't hide. I, I hate that shit, man. Like even when he can't see you, like we could, we could go down here, turn a corner, turn a corner. It doesn't matter. He just knows where we're at now. And we're dead. Here he comes. garbage fucking game like let's see he can see you you run away you turn a corner turn a corner turn a corner and then he gets to that first corner he doesn't know where you went he should like not aggro anymore and go about his business the game itself is like hey doodle bob yeah no he went this way and then doodle bob just goes the way that you are no matter what doodle bob don't play no shit yeah i gotta focus because I, I feel like this is the end of the game graphically this is one of the better looking Backrooms games. I will admit that. Graphically, the the like the layout looks good. The walls look good. I, like look at the carpet. Like you can see texture on the carpet. They did a good job with this. But mechanically, completely untested. Unless we already got this one, there should be one right here. <gasps> Three exit should be opened question is can we get I don't know where it is it's it's got to be right here thank god oh thank god oh god That's my review. I'm gonna I'm gonna put this on Steam. I'm gonna review this, and it's it's gonna say uh, swole, and then it's gonna say one star, and then under comments it's gonna say fart noises. Yeah, like a six year old scribbled on paper. But that's that's not their fault, because Doodle Bob is like a like a reoccurring character in the in the back rooms. In fact, this Doodle Bob, believe it or not. Is, high, is more it has more graphics better graphics than previous doodle bobs that we've seen okay free food safe level continue to fun level i'm not falling for it six I didn't realize he was right behind me like that. I mean, I knew he was there. Continue to the fun level. That's it. Go on. Free food. All right. Six. Seven. 
This doesn't seem like a fun level. You motherfucker. You dirty motherfucker. And what's crazy is like, it's the same creature that's in the same level in the other backrooms games. Like the librarian, the librarian alien. Looking for more numbers. We got a six. Oh, that's a blank piece of paper. Shit, dude. I do see the nine, nine zero. The end is near. I wonder if that has, the way the that near is written, I wonder if that's a um, part of the puzzle, part of the code. Well, this isn't even Doodle Bob. This is a different thing. All right. So we have a nine, a one, a six, a zero. That's nothing. That's a blank piece of paper. Nine, one, six, zero. But not in that. Fuck, man. In the other back rooms game, you have to collect tapes. While this thing haunts you the whole time. Like there's little tapes like hidden on the um, like the bookshelves. Can he kill me while I'm doing this? Dude, what the fuck, man? I can't... I can't move my mouse. What the fuck, dude? I can't look left or right? Oh God, I'm so tired of this shit. Monster side, I can't have fun anymore. All right, we're back. This is crazy. You know who the fucking idiot is? <laughs> the fucking devs, man. The devs. I'm not one to like talk shit on people, but um, dude, this game is a fucking, it's such a huge time waster. Do not put a fucking game out if it's not finished. This is fucking crazy. You are an idiot. Da, 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 da. All right, so I, I, it will let me back out. That's good. I think it was what, 1906? Oh, cool. Back in this level again. You watch the whole movie? All right, looks like this one we have to go up. Would you rather play this or only up this? Without hesitation. Without hesitation, this. Next question. Yeah, dude. Total money grab. Because not only is it a money grab as in the, the game isn't finished, they just put out a fucking... They just shit in a bucket and then sold it on Steam. Aside from that, the things that they did put in this game are completely ripped off from other Backrooms games. Like, it, and it's not like, oh, well, all the Backroom games have the exact same shit. No. No, because like me and Basic played inside the back rooms. That had some different things to it. I played Escape the Back Rooms alone. That had some interesting shit to it. <clears throat> like unique stuff to that specific game. Uh, back Rooms 1998, another great, great Back Rooms game. 
Uh, that one's more of a linear story, which I which I liked. That one's a little different. Uh, but this game completely ripped off Escape the Back Rooms in so many ways. That's how you know it's a ripoff. Like, I'm not saying like, oh, they ripped off Inside the Back Rooms. They ripped off Escape the Back Rooms. They ripped off this Back Rooms, that Back Rooms. We've probably played like 15 different Back Room games, and I can say that they ripped off one specific Back Rooms game. Escape the Back Rooms. There's a movie called Teeth. I did see that. I saw Teeth. Have you seen Walt? Oh, Tusk. Tusk. Have you seen Tusk? I did see Teeth as well. This is a cut scene. We don't get to play this part. Suddenly the stairs are going the wrong way. They don't give a shit. As long as they got their money. Tusk was, uh, yeah, I'm trying to think of like, when did I watch Tusk and why? Um, the fuck was that what, what kind of end what was that what happened we, we uh we fell and landed back in the back rooms cool yeah real real creative yeah what the fuck was that i'm gonna say for youtube if i if i do decide to post this it's probably gonna go on my swole place channel um as a as a unedited vod and i think the title is gonna be the worst backrooms game I've ever played. Okay, I've played backrooms games that were just like completely broken, but at least had some originality to them. Um, this game, anything that was considered like decent or good about it was completely stolen from Escape the Backrooms. And then on top of that, anything original was just broken in a, in a fucking mess. Yeah, this is probably the one of the worst backroom games. And the thing is, there's a lot of free to play backrooms games or Backrooms games that are like a dollar, two dollars. This thing was like eight dollars, which isn't that much, but we've played better Backrooms games for free than the shit that we just paid for. It just felt like a money grab, like steal a bunch of shit from other Backroom games, make make a quick eight bucks off of each, each one and call it a day. Like they didn't even, I feel like they didn't even test this shit. Not even worth eight dollars, no. But you know what? The real back rooms are the friends that we made along the way. Here's the thing though, for this channel, even when a game is bad, we we still have a lot of fun moments, funny moments. Like from now on, you know, we're, always, we're probably always gonna reference back to the idiot song. Like we wouldn't have that if we didn't play this game. Sniper Master saying that there's another ending. We gotta, we gotta jump back into this and uh, replay the whole game just to see if there's a, maybe I should have went down on the stairs. Um, Instead of going up, I think that's how we get a different ending. So let's start over. 